What's going on guys, it's your boy Kenny Love and I'm back with Ochu Sentai Ku Rangers. Guys, this episode was great because we get to see finally all 12 Ku Rangers together. Well, let's go ahead and get into the summary of the whole episode because this episode was awesome. Okay, what happens is we take we start off where we left off with Kotaro was talking about, you know, uh, well, not Kotaro, but... Um, Suguri, he wanted to go back in time to try to find out why Darn Our Mage is still running, you know, why is he still alive. So they have to go to the planet where um, where Raptor and Spada is. So they end up on the planet, but then Kotaro finds out, you know, he could probably see his mom. So he's like, you know, kind of, well, see, what I like about Kotaro is he's one of those kids uh he's one of those kids that are actually mature in this actual uh in the actual sentai he's not one of those little kids where it's like okay you're doing this and you're doing that and you know you're just a kid like cole was so i like cultural but see we get on the planet and uh spider was uh raptor was telling them that they have to use the 12 keys to all turn at one time but they all couldn't do it together. I mean, they, her and Spider couldn't do it. So uh, Lucky was like, well, since Suguri is here with us now, we can all, uh, you know, turn the keys. So they all go uh, to turn the keys, but enemies from the past start showing up. But for uh, Commander, he gets, you know, Commander Bear, and those two are sitting down having tea. I mean, it's a whole battle just going on between them all. And guys, it was good. Lucky defeats, um, I forget who he had, <laughs> and I just watched it. Then Spider, well, no, Stinger had, um, he had his brother. I mean, it was just a whole cast, but then Spider gets up with Makado. Now, Makado, she kept, you know, how many forms she had. She kept popping up every, you know, every which way. Balance had Naga, uh, at his, but then... Naga didn't have nobody at his. Uh, Raptor, she gets so many. She gets so many uh, proposals from uh, Lucky, Spada, Suguri, Commander, and it was one more person I can't remember, but she turned them all down. So everybody turns the key except Kotaro. Now Kotaro gets to his key, and it's his mom. And he's like, he really wants to see his mom, but he don't want to basically. He wants to see her, but he doesn't want to jeopardize the mission. But it takes. But he starts to turn the key and finds out that if he turns it, she leaves. So he don't turn it. So he turns around and you know, um, it was uh, vice uh, vice magistrate uh, Techi, uh, Techi. He comes up and he starts you know attacking Kotaro. So Kotaro. Well, the others come in. It was uh, Suguri, Lucky, and I think it was Commander. Or, no, it was Suguri, Stinger, and Champ that came in. So, they came to help him. And then, as he was, you know, as he was trying to decide, he leaves and tells his mom to wait for him. So, he runs off because he was like, you know, he hasn't seen her since birth. Since his brother was born. Because she had passed away at that time. So Suguri goes after him and he's like, you're not going to, you know, change. You're not going to turn your key. He's like, if I do, my mom would die and she would leave. But then he was like, I know I have to turn it, but then I don't really want to. So what's going to happen? You know, he, so he was like, what should I do? So Suguri told him, told him, you need to make that decision. He was like, it's up to you what you must do. But we have to do this mission because, you know, everyone else is counting on you. So basically, so Suguri gives him good advice and he's like, okay, I will do it. But then by the time he did that, uh, Techi, um, Techu, he comes in and he starts battling everybody. He starts battling those two. So everybody has defeated, you know, has turned their keys and they immediately shows up. So Kotaro's mom comes in and she's, you know, kind of scared for him because he's about to fight. So Stinger and Champ told her to wait here and watch, you know, wait here and watch him. 
So he says, Mom, this is how I def uh, this is how I'm gonna protect the planet. Watch me. So she was like, okay. So he trans so they all do roll they all transform together and do roll call guys. This was epic. I was like all twelve of them at the same time. And roll call was on point. I said, Man, this is awesome. But then, you know, uh Techi, uh he I mean he puts up a good fight. So they all battle him with uh without reservation. So by the time he gets to, so by the time they finish, they, I mean, they used every blaster and everything and he still didn't go down. So the only time he went down is when he basically, when they formed, uh, oh, uh, Kumajin. Kumajin was the, it's the huge mecca between all 12 Zords together. So... Um, I mean, they actually, he put up a huge fight, which was, the CGI was really good, guys. I mean, it was on point. I'm sitting here, like, on the edge of my seat, like, this is, I, I don't even have words to say, guys. This episode was great. But then, at the end, after they defeat Techi, Techu, they all go, you know, Kotaro goes to turn the key. And his mom leaves, you know, but he uh, hugs her and tells her that he loves her and he hopes to see her again. So she says the same and he says goodbye. So she leaves and then they replace then she, um, the time, um, the time Q globe comes down. So as, um, as they get the globe, Techi said, not, uh, not Te Suguri says, now I can finally go back in time and find out the truth of what happened. So basically, it's going to be an arc where we're going to see where Tichi goes back in time to try to find out the whole history of why Darna Mage is still here. And, you know, basically what happened when he was put to sleep. Because after he went to sleep, you know, there was a lot of things happening. So he basically has no idea what's going on. So that's what I feel that is going to happen because we're at 25 now. So we basically are at the half point of this whole series. And I will tell you guys, this this series has been great. I actually loved it. It has not been an episode that I did not like except, you know, uh, the Pegasus episode and probably the birthday episode. I am not going to say I didn't like them, but I just did not... Um, I didn't really care for them like I would have, you know, they were more boring to me, but they were still worth watching. But you guys tell me what you think and tell me how you guys feel about the whole episode. This was one of the best episodes that I've seen since it, uh, since I've started watching. And you guys tell me how you feel. Don't forget to write, like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe to the channel. This is your boy Kinelo, and I will see you guys later.